Hello folks, welcome to our brand new series looking at the locomotives of the Watercrest line. Today we'll kick things off straight away looking at an engine that came back into service last year and has only recently celebrated her 100th birthday. This is the story of Yuri S15 number 506. Five oh six was built at Eastley Works and entered service on the twentieth of October, nineteen twenty, where it was initially assigned to Nine Elm Shed in South London. S fifteens were built to be freight engines and primarily worked for heavy night express goods trains between Exeter and Nine Elms, and from Nine Elms to Southampton. In addition to their freight duties, they were also regularly rostered on relief passenger and seaside excursion trains on the busy summer weekends and proved to be excellent locomotives and very much cutting edge for the day. Two years later, 506 was reallocated to Strawberry Hill and a year later moved to Feltham in 1923, just south of where Heathrow Airport is now located. From here, 506 continued to work the night freight trains between London and Southampton docks and many other locations on the southwestern section. Between 1934 and 1936, Southern Railway converted an L-class tank engine to run with a tender which they called the N15X or Remembrance Class. To accommodate the new class of loco, a number of S15s donated their 5,000 gallon tenders, including our own 506. In return for the tender, 506 was given an 8-wheel Drummond watercart tender that was from a Class C8 locomotive that was being scrapped. The new tender could only hold 4,000 gallons of water, but the nature of work assigned to the S15s with more stops and the opportunity to take on more water made them more suited to smaller tenders, more so than the new N15Xs. In 1956, the Drummond watercart was replaced by a Yuri double bogey tender from withdrawn King Arthur Class 30745 Tittenjewel which it ran with until it was withdrawn from service on the 5th of January 1964, after travelling over 1.2 million miles. Four S15s were purchased by the Wooden Brothers, better known as Barry Scrapyard, with 506 being selected to haul the group on their final journey to Barry on the 18th of June 1964. Unfortunately by this time 506 had been stored for a while, was in a poor state and failed at stains with a blown superheater element after using half a tender full of water. 506 clearly wasn't ready to go to scrap, and the trip was cancelled at Staines with the locomotives being towed back home to Felton. 506 was eventually towed to the scrapyard in October that year. This is where the Yui Locomotive Society comes into the story. Formed in April 1972, their primary goal was to save a Yui S15 from the scrap line. A year later they managed to purchase 506 from her Wooden Brothers for £4,000 or just under £37,000 in today's money. The locomotive remained at the scrapyard for a number of years due to transportation costs and nowhere to take it, since when it was purchased the Watercrest line had only just been closed by BR. Eventually the group succeeded and 506 arrived at the railway and what would be her new home in April 1976. Now the engine had a base, the real challenge began. Whilst undergoing restoration, the boiler on 506, number 451, was examined on several occasions, but the state-of-the-art metallurgical tests in 1979 determined that the cracking at the top of the firebox was not repairable. So the group returned to Barry in 1980 and by agreement with Wood and Brothers, purchased a second boiler from another S15, number 825. The new boiler was eventually lifted into 506 in February 1981. The original boiler is still at the railway. 506 returned to steam in 1987 and ran for 14 years before coming out of service in 2001. During the most recent overhaul, the boiler had its stays replaced and the cylinders were removed to sort a corrosion issue between the cylinder blocks and the frames. The main frames had also developed a crack while in service which had to be welded up. As a result of the corrosion and the cracking issues, the group decided to replace the front 9 feet of the main frames, making it one of the most comprehensive overhauls carried out to date at Ropley, and a testament to the team involved. 506 returned to traffic in June 2019, after 18 years of restoration and just one year before her 100th birthday. The event had a number of special visitors, including Richard Flann who was the fireman of 506 on that fateful day where she failed at Staines. 
This was the first time he had seen the locomotive since that day. Even though 506 had only been in service for a year, she is already looking to be a favourite of our footplay crews, and given that she spent so much of her life between Felton and the Southampton docks, she is very much at home here, on the Midhance Railway, the Watercress Line. Still going strong after a hundred years. Not many people can say that about themselves. You may have actually recognised a few locations in that film. Not more so than Alton. See, the S15 on the front, number 30837A Mornsel S15, was actually hauling an S15 commemorative rail tour which took them over the Alps. When they got to Alton, they had to attach another engine on the front, namely a U-Class Mogul. Otherwise, there's very little chance they would have made it up the hill. All of that footage was very kindly lent to us by the wonderful people at B&R Video Productions who have managed to capture an absolute treasure trove of footage from BR days. You'll be able to see some of their footage later on, but when we reopen I have it on good authority that we do sell copies of their various DVDs in the Allsford shop, so check it out next time you're down. We do have a lot of locomotives, both steam and diesel on the Midhance Railway, and I understand that Watching engine after engine after engine is not everyone's idea of fun. That is understandable. So, starting from next week, we will put these videos out at the weekends and keep the Film Friday slot free for some brand new content. Starting from next week, we're going to talk about our post-preservation history, taking the watercress line from XBR condition to the line we know and love today. If you'd like to support us during this um, unusual time, Please visit watercrestline.co.uk forward slash support or to donate £10 via text, text watercrest to 70085. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time for Things You Now Know.